Kaur is a shining light. She emerged from a dark moment in history and is making sure her legacy includes forgiveness, especially in this film. Everything in the world was done to me that would have killed me. And here I am alive. Eva Kaur is more than a page in history. She made it through the Nazis' horrors at the Auschwitz concentration camp. A survivor who is now a sentinel on watch against the past repeating itself. Everybody has struggles and everybody should concentrate ultimately that you can triumph and you can succeed. She survived the Nazi oppression with her twin sister Miriam, both forced to undergo medical experiments and torture under the so-called angel of death, Dr. Joseph Mengele. In 1993, Miriam passed away. Eva says she was not sure she wanted to do this documentary. They are a lot of work and they dig into your soul and I didn't want anybody digging into my soul anymore. But she took the journey and it will be used as part of an effort to teach others about the Holocaust. It's going to have long life and there's a lot of materials associated with the curriculum, educational materials to make it a, an engaging opportunity for communities all around the country and we hope all around the world. Around the globe, Eva has made forgiving her tormentors her life's legacy and hopes this documentary continues to carry her message well into the future. I would like People thinking of me will say, thank you for teaching me to be happy, to realize that I have the human right to be happy and free of any pain that life imposed on me. Because we all have all kind of pain that life imposes on us. And if they can ever think of me in that way, I think my work is done. She is an amazing woman. The film debuts at Butler University's Clues Hall on April the 5th. It's expected to be shown at film festivals around the world and eventually distributed internationally. It will air on public TV in the fall right here in Indianapolis. Now, Ms. Kaur says she's also working on a children's book focused on forgiving, and she says she loves taking out to Twitter to speak up on behalf of people and causes that she believes she's always